Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So behind me is a very sad scene, and it's even sadder than it looks. Uh, the skid loader is about to be loaded onto a trailer, and so that could indicate that it is going to be hauled to a mechanic. But actually, that's not the case. Uh, we are going to sell the skid loader, which is really, I don't know, it's a bummer because I was excited about having a skid loader on the property. Uh, but uh, basically, we don't have time. I don't have time to fix it right now. I could bring it to a mechanic, but I think we just uh, bit off more than we can chew. So we're going to uh, we're gonna let it go. And it's actually a happy story. The guy that's buying it is uh, a guy that lived. Uh, he was he actually came here to buy a washing machine, and he's like, "Oh, nice skid loader. Where'd you get that?" And I'm like, "Oh, I got it from so and so." And he's like, "You've got to be kidding. That's my neighbor half mile down the road." And if I knew he was going to be selling it, I would have bought it from him. And so it's kind of a happy ending. Uh, the downside to us is that we're losing over a thousand dollars on it, a little over a thousand dollars, because it just won't start. I went through those troubleshooting steps. Uh, I'll link down below to the couple of videos that I did about it. Um, but uh, I went through some of the basic stuff to try to get it to go, and I couldn't. This guy probably will be able to get it to go uh, better than me because he's got more experience. Uh, but <sighs> sometimes you just got to cut your losses, you know, thousand dollars to lose on it is kind of a bummer, but sometimes it just is necessary. Uh, obviously I've got lots of projects going on like you guys saw or you, you guys are aware of, uh, <laughs> right now, most of my vehicles have issues. Uh, the F-150 here is doing well, except for. This brake rotor here has got problems. Um, I don't know. Last I checked the brakes, they were fine. And then all of a sudden, the next thing I knew, they were grinding. So either time went faster than I thought it was, or something went wrong with the caliper. But this is the one pad that was still good. And you can see that that still has got a decent amount of life left in it. Uh, but the other one's totally gone. It was just grinding into the side of this here. As you can see, this is not not nice and even anymore. So I've got a new rotor coming, new brake pads, and uh, we'll get this thing up and running. So truck is out of commission. Car is out of commission. You obviously were aware of that. There the engine sits over here. So bummer. So yeah, I've got lots of broken things around here at the moment, and not enough time to fix them all. So we're gonna let the skid loader go and that'll be one last thing to worry about for now. And I'm excited for the guy who's buying it in that uh, it just seems like it was meant to be since it was a half mile away from his house. The guy I bought this thing from uh, was the only owner. This thing is the same year as I am, it's 1991. Wait, maybe I wasn't supposed to say that on YouTube. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, Gale 3410. I honestly think I used it for about probably less than two hours, maybe an hour since I bought it. So $1,000 an hour, that's pretty expensive rental. <laughs> but oh well. I'm like really tempted to buy a new skid loader now, but I know that that's probably not wise. But the stupid things hold their value a lot better than like a car, like you'd expect a 1991 car to be worth about 500 bucks, and we paid over $5,000 for this old guy. But anyway, I was going to show you how to uh, lift this thing onto a trailer, how to lift a skid loader safely. Uh, I will, I think I'm going to do that as a separate video. This is more of just a saying goodbye to the Gale 3410. So. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you can relate to losing a thousand dollars on something, and maybe share your <laughs> your your stories of loss down below so that we can uh, <laughs> all feel uh, understanding for each other. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.